What's up everybody, my name is Alex Chung and today we are talking about the new Canon EOS R update. So Canon just released their eye detection autofocus feature via a free firmware update only for the EOS R which you can download on the Canon website, link down below. This new feature allows the camera to detect whether or not an eyeball is in frame when you're shooting photos and videos on the R. Now, just a disclaimer, I'm not really much of a photography guy, so I will be talking more about the video side of things, although most of these things should be really, really similar. What separates IAF versus the normal face detection is that the camera will lock its focus straight onto the eyes of the subject versus something like the nose or the cheekbone. This is helpful because when you're watching a video of someone, you want their eyes to be in focus, not other parts of their face. Especially when your lens is really wide open at like f1.2, 1.4, 1.8. It's not only critical that it nails focus on the face, but more importantly on the eyes. This is a continuous AF mode that works even when you're recording video or taking pictures. You get a little box around your face and your eyeball to let you know what the camera is focusing on. So to use this new feature, make sure that you download the new update from Canon's website. Again, I'll link that down below for you guys to check out and follow the instructions to update your EOS R. And remember, this is only for the EOS R, not the RP or any other camera. And once you've got that updated, go to the auto focusing feature and make sure you select face detection. And once you're in that mode, you have the option to either press the info button to turn eye detection on and off or simply just touch the screen. So far, I've only been using it for about a day since the update came out and I'm testing it on my Canon 85mm f1.8. The speed at which it locks onto a subject and its stickiness is really useful, especially for things like event videography or wedding videography like I do and people are moving really fast in and out of the frame. So face detection and especially eye detect is really helpful during these situations. Even when you're filming someone with glasses like me, the camera will still be able to detect the eye. Now, IAF doesn't work when someone's face is turned to the side, and that's when face detect will kick in and start pulling focus for you until it sees an eyeball again. The differences between IAF and face detect, in my opinion, is very slight. The accuracy and speed of both of these autofocusing modes is really similar, but I feel a lot better knowing that I have IAF so that I can nail focus on the eyes every time that I shoot. Let me know if you guys have any questions down below. I might be able to answer them as I do more testing on the IAF. So that's it guys, a really quick update from me. I hope you guys liked this video. And if you did, please hit the like button, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell to get notified of every video that I post. I'll be doing more videos on the Canon EOS R, so make sure you stay up to date. My name is Alex Chung, and I'll see you later. Bye.